What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. All right, so I had to make this video. I actually wanted to make this yesterday, but I just didn't have the time to do it. I had a little bit of technical difficulties, but it doesn't matter. We're making it today, okay? So you guys see the title oh, of this video, right? Maybe Microsoft did not make a mistake, but the Xbox one is digital. Hear me out, okay? All right, so yesterday while I was traveling, as you can tell, I'm not in my normal setup, right? Traveling for work. Yesterday while I was traveling, I'm sitting at the airport waiting for my flight and I'm just going through my phone and uh, I click on this app that I have called Slick Deals, right? On this app, I just went to the video game category and I saw a Xbox One S, the old version, right? The one with the disk drive for $228, right? Now this Xbox One S had one terabyte okay and it had two games it had titanfall 2 and i think it had like dead rising right which is freaking pretty good right okay 228 dollars. now i looked at this and i was like man that is a good deal right now let me take you back okay i bought my xbox one s for 175 dollars i bought it off of um either let go or offer up just met, met somebody bought it okay it's only a 500 gigabyte right i didn't have um any games with it it was just regular xbox one s right 175 okay after i bought that xbox one s for 175 any time that i saw an xbox one s above 200 dollars, to me it wasn't a good deal it just wasn't because i bought one for 175 so if i saw an xbox one s for 200 dollars it better have at least one game, right? So anything above it, to me, just wasn't worth it. It just wasn't, right? Okay, good to go. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking, and, and, I'm, and I'm at the airport, and I'm looking at my phone, and I'm like, wow, this is a good deal. And then it hit me. I was like, why do I think this is such a good deal? And then I figured it out. You know why? Because the Xbox One S Digital is such a bad deal that the Xbox One S, the old version, now looks like a good deal so 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 hear me out right all these xbox one s's that are already at walmart best buy wherever you go get your video game consoles they're already there sitting on the shelves these stores have to move them right microsoft's main goal right just like any company is to get their system in your house whether it's an xbox one s the old xbox one um the xbox one x or this new digital thing that they're doing right their main goal is to get an xbox and xbox in your home right because that then you can sell the game pass game, uh, xbox live games all that other stuff okay listen to me if you walk into walmart okay and you see an xbox one s digital for 280 to 300 dollars right Let's say even 250 okay? But right next to it, you see a Xbox One S, the old version, with the disk drive, okay? For 200 to 230 240 or even 250 let's say it's the same price, right? Which one are you going to automatically think is the better deal? Number one, the cheaper Xbox, right? The old one. And the one that has the extra feature, which is a disk drive, okay? Now, think about this from a sales perspective. I'm working at Walmart. You walk into the store. You're a parent. You're a mom. You're a dad trying to buy your son, daughter, an Xbox, right? You see the Xbox one is digital. It says new on it, blah, 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 this other stuff, right? And then right next to you, or even on the bottom shelf, you see the Xbox One S old version. And you say, hey, uh, I'm thinking I want to get this, blah, 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 this, this, and that. And I tell you, sir, ma'am, listen, you can save $20, $30, $40, $50. I don't know. I don't know what, what these um, stores are going to drop the price of the Xbox when S2 is going to be, right? But you can save X amount of money if you just buy this Xbox One S, which is the exact same thing as this one, except the disk drive. Is still there in this one so you can actually buy our used games that we have our value games that we have you could still go to GameStop and get more games for your son daughter or whatever right which
which one you think that parent is going to go with? They're going to go for the old Xbox One S. And the only reason I'm, I'm calling it the old Xbox One S is because it's literally the exact same thing, except they just removed the disk drive, right? So think about this, right? What if Microsoft did this on purpose? Because like I said, all these Xbox One S's are already in store. They're already there. So they got to get moved. Microsoft, however, still has control as to how many Xbox One S digitals they end up making. So if their intent was to push out all these Xbox One S's, the old ones that are in stores, and just have a few in freaking the digital versions in there, just, just to sell those as well, but not to make the same amount as the Xbox One S, <laughs> I think this is going to work. Because the same way that I saw that Xbox One S for 228, and under normal under different circumstances, I wouldn't have even looked twice. I would have been like, "Oh, okay, it's a decent deal." But I didn't think it was a decent deal. I thought it was an amazing deal. Again, because of I because I know how much this Xbox One S digital is going to cost. And here's the thing: Microsoft might be playing on our psychology, because there's plenty of times. Okay, you don't have to admit it if you don't want to, but I'm sure. You have bought something that you didn't need just because it was on sale, just because it was a good deal. I know I have. No shame. I know I have. It's a good deal. I can't let that pass up. I got I got to get it. <laughs> For all you PC gamers out, out there, Steam sales. You already know. You already know. Steam sales comes down, you're like... I wasn't even thinking about buying this game. I really don't I really don't need it. And you buy it because it's, it's a good deal. Got to get it now. Especially when that sale has an end date to it. Oh, Lord Jesus. You know you got to get it, right? Okay, anyways, I digress. I come back. The only way we're going to find out if this is true is depending on how many Xbox One S Digitals Microsoft actually makes. And it makes sense why they would make it look the exact same. That's the only logic I could think. Because if, if they did make it... If they didn't make it smaller, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here. If they didn't make it smaller, or if they made it more compact or made it look different, now that's a different selling point. But nope, they made it the exact same. So when you go to the store, you are better off buying the Xbox One S with the disk drive than this new Xbox One X all digital. I think what they're trying to do is get as many Xboxes in people's homes as possible. And I think this is going to work. Initially, they got me. They got me upset. I made a video about it, how I thought it was dumb. I still think they're selling us a broken Xbox One S. But now I see the logic as to why they're doing it. And let me tell you something else. The press that this thing is getting is ridiculous. There's a saying that there's no such thing as bad press. This is true. This is true. Because all this is doing is elevating that Xbox One S with the disk drive. That's all this is doing. Everybody else is looking at the Xbox One as digital as something bad, but it's elevating the Xbox One as with the disk drive. Think about it, guys. Maybe I'm reaching. If I'm reaching, let me know. But I think I'm right on this. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.